I've just been a few hours, a uh, few minutes removed from uh, from another stream, which is part of my new streaming schedule. Uh, the hitch was um, I've had my connection dropped twice, so my supposedly ten and a half hour continuous stream became a four part stream but um, I just well I just had to deliver okay? I just had to deliver so um, well I kinda ended the stream early because I need to uh, make these entries for the diaries but what, what am I getting what am I getting at here reddit okay, what am I getting at here you're, you're wondering well when it comes to delivering content, there are only three words for me. Deliver or die. I promised a ten and a half hour stream today, so um, nevertheless, I delivered. Alright, kahit papano, uh, long stream ako, although uh, it got cut into four parts because uh, due to due to due to bad internet connection right due to bad connections right dropped internet connections to be exact but well did that stop me uh -uh. didn't stop me at all i just uh, reconnected and i just uh, restarted the stream uh, yeah you can say i restarted the stream but um I didn't go to I didn't go to the first page of the script. Nope, totally unscripted. I just uh, went according to plan. I uh, had uh, anime reviews. There's there's a particular chron chronological order for that. <clears throat> I promised four anime episode reviews today. Mission accomplished. I promised a mastermind video sharing. Done. So the rest was uh, the the rest was chill, all right. Well, the rest were chill parts already. So because well, I've delivered already, but next time it won't mean that uh, I'm gonna stop there, all right? But bottom line, read it, right? If you can't over deliver, you'll just have to remember only three words when uh, delivering content. Deliver or die. I almost forgot to uh, to lay this on you, Reddit. There's one part of Vanessa Lau's video that I've learned during the uh, the mastermind video sharing in my Twitch stream. She mentioned there about um, not taking. Um, not taking a mentor's limiting beliefs uh, into a course of action. Now, what she said there is spot on. What she said there is actually fact. Generally, limiting beliefs should not be followed. All right. Why in the hell should you follow the limiting beliefs of others? Even if it is coming from a personal development guru. Even personal development gurus have their limiting beliefs. Let me give you some examples. Um, okay, Dan Locke, right? He had a bad experience with network marketing. So now he says, the best way to, to become wealthy in network marketing is to start a network marketing company. He's got a point there. But on the flip side, that's his limiting belief. Gary Vaynerchuk, from the get-go, never believed in network marketing. That's his limiting belief. You may hate me. You may hate me for saying that, but that that was my observation when I uh, when I uh, saw Vanessa Vanessa Lau's video that uh, that uh, made my that made my brain uh, analyze that. Another example is, um, oh, Dave Ramsey, all right? 
from the get-go, he's always been saying that network marketing is bullshit. You may hate me again, but that's his limiting belief. Limiting beliefs, Reddit, should not really should not be applied. Okay? The limiting, especially the limiting beliefs of others. Even if it came from a personal development guru. You know what, Reddit? Even gurus have limiting beliefs. I just saw an, uh, a post here on LinkedIn that uh, the future of live streaming uh, showed that showed a, um, a market vendor in China pitching her products to, to two cell phones. Right, so she is probably live streaming, uh, showing uh, the public at large. Uh, how she sells, where she sells, and what products can she, uh, what products can they buy from her? All right, you know what? It's already been happening on Twitch, but no one is, uh, what you call this? No one knows, all right? No one knows, but it's already happening on Twitch. Eba kang Twitch streamer na yung ano yun yung palingkiran yun eh. All right, but here's my um, here's my point, LinkedIn. Live streaming is more authentic than pre-recorded video or vlogging. All right, why? Whoop! You get to see the person in real time. That person is talking to you in real time. That person is um, uh, that person can offer you something in real time. Because well, people these days don't uh, don't actually watch YouTube videos just to be sold something. All right, we all know that YouTube is mostly pre-recorded video. Okay, only uh, only a few live stream these days because well, they've already set a minimum in order for you to live stream from the YouTube app. You have to have one thousand subscribers, right? But on other streaming platforms, nope. All you have to do, all you have to do, is sign up for an account. It's open an account, like what I did on Twitch, right? I got a considerable amount of followers there already, all right? Because I am live streaming. Here's what I'm gonna do, LinkedIn. I'm going to make a bold prediction right now, right here. Okay. In 2021, live streaming will be the go-to marketing platform right no not marketing platform marketing medium right because it's not a time waster right you are being fed information and you're, you're being sold something in real time okay you don't have to um, go to uh, click on a link just to uh, just to watch a video that will potentially sell you something or even invite you to a network marketing business, all right? As a marketer, you can already do that through live streaming, real time pa. You get responses right there and then. You see it in the chat. And wow, okay. Live streaming is going to be the way to, um, to market your brand or your business in 2021 people don't want basically people don't want to waste their time watching a video whereas they can see uh, see that person live and they can they can already make their decision right there and then in real time okay so again LinkedIn here's my bold prediction live streaming will be the medium of choice in 2021. Finally, my connection is now, uh, what you call this? It's okay again. <laughs> we've been, um, we've been going crazy here for seven hours because, 
there's no actual exchange of data over the internet all right um all i did was um what you call this um cut then put the connect put the connection back on instead of um uh, what you call this pulling the plug and then putting then plugging it back on sa sa power dun dun mismo sa connection ko ina no so twice uh, connection has been connection is now okay it's been restored so yeah which leads me to this TikTok um sometimes for even for the even for the uh even for the little things in life, you still have to, uh, well, you still have to find a way. Okay, you still have to find a way. Whether whether the uh, the situation is big or small, you you just gotta find a way. If you don't, well, you tend to dwell on the problem. You tend to dwell on the situation. Humans are like that, right? We're only humans, so it's up to us now to rectify the problem as quickly as possible. All right, but whether it be big or small, there is always a way. TikTok, right? Just remember that. Never give up on finding on the, on uh, on the solution to that kind to that problem, no matter how big or small. Right? There is always a way. I'm several minutes removed uh, now from uh, completing my uh, anime episode reviews with a lot of time to spare. All right, this is probably the first time that I've I really felt first time in a long time that I felt satisfied with uh, with my productivity. Uh, this is actually the first week that I've actually spread those anime reviews out uh, the whole week. <clears throat> so, my streaming schedule is now Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So, there are 12 animes in my roster. So, that means I review 4 animes per day. I no longer review all of them in just one day, which is Friday, but... I don't do I don't want to do that anymore after after this first week yeah it's going to become a regular thing now it's going to become a regular thing although I I although that compels me to to stream three times a week but nah at least I won't at least uh, I won't be at least I won't be frustrated with anything uh, if anything happens just like um uh like just today i couldn't uh when i record through obs there's no audio so i thought well i could just i guess i could just record it from my phone over here all right so that's 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 what that's what happened but i didn't uh i didn't dwell in it i didn't wallow in it i did not uh I didn't feel like shit about it. I just grinded. The grinding was way easier. All right. So here's my here's my power tip for you, Twitch. Everybody on Twitch, include the, for the Money and Light movement, and even for and even for Micah lifestyles. All right. If you spread out. Uh, if you spread it out, the grind will be easier. All right. It shouldn't matter anymore if you're going to work more days. But for me, the anime episode reviews is a uh, is a priority for my otaku channel, for my YouTube otaku channel, and my Twitch channel. So I don't want to get stressed out after 24 hours just by doing uh, anime reviews, right? I don't want to spend 24 hours on stream reviewing animes. I want to be uh, like this, chill, 
I want to... I want to do open practice for my Yu-Gi-Oh decks. I even want to entertain business questions, uh, personal development questions, even anime questions. I can do all of that in a 24-hour span. So, if I spread the work out, this is what's going to happen. This is exactly what happened. So, I was done with my last anime review. Now I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling with my audience right now. So, power tip again, Twitch. The grind is easier if you spread it all out. I was just done with a. Um with uh, with another stream for Twitch, but this time I shared to the entire Twitch universe how I make the episode reviews digest. Actually, the grind was real easy right now because I didn't have to rush anything. Even when I made the outro, yeah, even when I made the outro a while ago. Because well, if you have, if you're not familiar with. Uh, with the episode reviews digest, I usually make an outro just for the end screen, right? It's a separate it's a separate video that I that I usually make right after I'm done compiling with all compiling all the entries, right? So that outro will lead to the end screen of that video. So yeah, the grind is much easier, and um it's more it's more streamlined right now okay it's more streamlined but what am i getting at here telegram i'll tell you the reason why i had it streamed is because well i wanted to be transparent with my twitch audience as i want to be as transparent as possible to them even if i have to show how i make the episode reviews digest right even it's going to take um, a little more effort from me to be as to be as transparent as possible to your audience yeah it's got it's got a lot of weight for me okay as one who is building is who has a um, a brand to take care of a brand to um, to uphold Transparency is um, what you call this is an SOP, a standard operational procedure, right? Some uh, independent brands may not be may not be honest with us, but hey, why follow their example? Hot Telegram, you tell me. Why follow their example? When you can be truthful to your own audience, the aud- the uh, the public at large usually loves transparent people, transparent brands, transparent companies, transparent businesses. It'll up your value as a personal brand. So that's why I I make it a point to occasionally expose my um, to expose my workflow to the public, to my Twitch audience, to my YouTube audience. So Telegram, here's here's a power tip for you guys. If you want to up the value of your brand, all you have to do sometimes is share the grind.